Hey guys! Welcome back to Two Five Girls. It's me, Mandy. I was looking away, so I don't know how long this has been on. But um, I've been trying to catch up on my on videos lately, and I watched one um, by Martha. By the way, I don't really like like the new YouTube thing, the way it has all the videos lined up because sometimes I don't think I scroll back far enough and I miss videos like all the time too. I mean, I get really, I got behind on them honestly, but like I was scrolling back and scrolling back and I'm like, I haven't watched any of these. And I mean, I only miss like, I mean, but if you miss like three days, sometimes you can miss a lot of videos, but yeah, I don't like the way it lines them up. I liked it when it had like each person and like all their videos. On like one little thing not like in one big column and you have to keep scrolling back and scrolling back because it seems like I miss videos a lot but anyway I was trying to catch up and I watched um, the fat girl is crazy and she had her Friday five and it was things that motivate her and I've been in a really gross weight loss funk lately like I don't know. I just really, really have been. Like, Tiffany has been doing awesome, and I wish she would get on here and do a vlog, but she can't because um, her uh, laptop broke. So, but Tiffany has been doing really good, like, really good. Um, and I haven't been doing so great. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just don't feel like my heart's in it anymore right now. But anyway, that doesn't mean that I've stopped, but you know, it just feels like I try and try and like nothing is happening, but I don't know. Anyway, so like these, she had, uh, she had the five things that motivate her. So I wrote down five and I thought I'd do it in a video response instead of like trying to type them all out to her. So, but Anyway, okay, like, number five, she said that she wanted, like, her legs not to rub together, and I want that, too, but I also want to be able to, like, cross my legs, not like a dude. You know what I mean? Like a dude, when they cross their legs, they cross them at the ankle. Well, mine, I used to have to cross my legs at the ankle like a dude, but I don't have to do that anymore. I can, like, cross my legs almost like a real lady now. Like, it's getting really close. I just have really big, you know, my thighs are just big. But it's getting there. So now, like, when I cross my legs, I semi-cross them right now, you know. But they will get there eventually. So, number four. I want to get, like, a back tattoo. Like, a big, I don't want to get a tramp stamp. I want to get a back tattoo. Like, a big back tattoo. And I already kind of know what I want. I just have to, like, have it drawn up epically. And I'll probably have Tiff do it. But I've always wanted to get a back tattoo. I have one, like, on the back of my neck. But, um, I always wanted to get one on, like, my shoulder, too, but I don't want to go because, you know, like, I don't want to go, you know, like, you have to expose all that stuff when you go, and I don't want to, like, expose my back fat to some tattoo guy I've never met before. So, yeah, I want to get a big back tattoo. That is, like, one of my, um, things, like, when I reach goal, like, that's one of the things that I want to get done. Like, that's one of my prizes for me. Um... Number three, I want to be able to take a picture and not think that, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to be able to take a picture and know that I'm not going to look like, like the fat girl. And I want to be able to take a picture that's not like at the Facebook angle all the time. And you all know what I'm talking about, especially us chubby girls. The Facebook angle is up like this and it makes your face look slim. We all know that because I'm sure everybody else has read the same article on the internet on how to like make yourself look good in pictures. So yeah. Um, number two is, um, it technically should kind of be my number one, but since these two kind of go together, I figured I'm gonna have to put this one as number two so I can explain number one. But number two, I obviously want to lose weight from my back. And like right now, I think that is possibly a lot of problems that is going on with my weight loss right now because I told you guys when I first went to the gym I got on the elliptical and that elliptical like seriously tore me the fuck up if you have a bad back do not get on the elliptical I mean this is like a warning do not get on the elliptical because I have ruptured discs and I have slip discs and it's all like in the lower part of my back so, like, I guess when I got on the elliptical, and the shitty thing is, is it was only like 10 minutes. Like, I did it twice, two different times for five minutes apiece. And so, it was like only 10 minutes altogether, but it's been hurting me for like over a month. And like, it is super sore. And sometimes, like, when my back and it, 
you know, it pinches that side and side nerve and it makes your leg hurt really bad. And it makes like my hip stick out. So my hip has been sticking out and it's been pinching down my leg to about my knee lately. And some days it's worse than others. Some days it's okay. But the thing was, was it wasn't bothering me at all before I got on that elliptical. My mom told me when we went, she's like, oh, you probably shouldn't get on it. And I'm like, oh, I feel okay. This is awesome. It's going to be great. It's going to work my thighs and my butt. And it's going to be awesome. Yeah. And it worked my back. Let me tell you. So like when that happens, sometimes it makes me retain water. So I'm hoping beyond hope that that might just be like part of my problem that because my back is sore and my hip is sticking out like that, that some of it is just water retention. So it's okay. Not that it's okay, but maybe that's why I haven't like lost any weight, why I've kind of stayed the same um, because of that. But I don't really know. Um, Cause like I said, I am going to the gym. Um, so, okay. The number two was I want to lose weight from my back because since I have lost as much as I have, like my back feels so much better. Like I can't even explain to you how much better my back feels. And like, like I said, like I've, I've said this like lots of times before on here, but like my doctor and like my neurologist, they always told me, oh, you know, if you lost weight, you'd feel so much better. And I always thought they were just like talking out their ass because I mean, like my back is utterly destroyed, you know, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to lose weight, but my back is still going to be shitty, you know, but it does. It feels a whole lot better. So, um, so that was like my number two is to lose weight from my back and you know it, it's going to take all that pressure off those discs and it takes pressure off your ankles and off your knees i can't tell you how bad my uh ankles used to hurt when i would get home from work from standing all day i mean it it has helped my back so much so i can only imagine what losing like 70 more pounds 70 80 more pounds is going to make me feel so much better like i'm just so excited to do it and um Number one is I want to be able to take a bath comfortably. Now, the thing is, is I can, not that I'm too fat to get in the bathtub because I can get in the bathtub, but I am not comfortable in it because first of all, I am fat. I'm in the bathtub. And second of all, like my back hurts so bad. Like, I mean, it is hard to sleep in the bed at night. So imagine if you can't sleep in your soft, comfy bed with like, I've got, let me see, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. I've got 11 pillows on my bed. Okay. And I have like a really expensive mattress and it's like one of those comfy, like little pillow tops. So like, I can't sleep. I can hardly sleep in my bed at night. So imagine like trying to get in the bathtub. Like I seriously have not had a bath in well, since my back started hurting and that my back started hurting when I was 20, let me see, when I was 22, that's when I first started having problems with my back was when I was 22. And so I am 29 now. So that's like seven years without a bath. And not that like, I'm like a mega bath person, but when it's something you can't do anymore, you really, you want it really bad. You know, there's some days where I'm like, oh, I would love to just lay in like the hot bath and it would just like make my back feel so much better. But instead I have to like stand in a hot shower and the hot shower feels good too, because it just like loosens everything up. But I love to take a bath and that is not happening for a while. Um, yeah, and like we've got like one of those really big like garden tubs and it's like really awesome. And yeah, I would love to take a bath. So, oh, I went shopping today because today was like the first day. Like I was off for four days this week, and let me tell you what, I needed them four days because I was my mind was about to explode because just I don't know. Like this weight loss thing is bothering me, work is bothering me. I needed a break from everybody. And today was the first day that I had to myself that I didn't have to like do anything. Like I went shopping a day and like I've been planning this for forever because my dad is retired military. So that means they can take me to the PX and you know, I can buy stuff from the PX on post and I'm, you know, I don't have to pay taxes on it, which technically I can't buy it. Like you have to give the money to them, blah, blah, blah. But it happens all the time. But I've been wanting a pair of shoes for when I go to the gym because I had a pair of tennis shoes, and I don't know what the hell happened to them. Seriously, I don't know where those tennis shoes went. So don't laugh at me. But I, I've been wearing my dad's shoes to um, the gym. And, like, they're obviously too big because they're dude shoes, you know? So I've been wearing his shoes, and um, 
I'm like, I told them today, I'm like, can you please take me to the PX so I can get some damn shoes? Like, I need shoes so bad. Like, when we went to the gym this last time, and I was on the treadmill, like, the, the shoes were, like, slipping up and down. And I'm like, oh, my God, I need my own damn shoes. So, I went and I finally got me some today. And they're so cute. Like, they're Nikes. And they're like, see? Ain't they cute? And they are so comfortable and here's the thing here's like something that's like super crazy like okay I usually wear like a size 10 these are an eight and a half so that's how much weight I've lost in my feet isn't that awesome so yeah I'm so excited I love my new shoes so um I'm not gonna get to go to the gym today but hopefully tomorrow I get off at three tomorrow um, so yeah I'm excited but it's supposed to storm really crazily tomorrow so be thinking about me tomorrow because we live in Kentucky and there's supposed to be like a million tornadoes. So it depends on how the weather is. Like I was supposed to go yesterday to the gym after I got done doing hair, but it was ridiculous here. Like you guys read about all those tornadoes. I'm sure you saw it on the news. And like one hit E-Town, which is like, mm, it's like 10, 15 minutes up the road from me. And yeah, that's like insane. And I mean, it was like pouring down rain and the sirens were going off. Like, all day long. Anyway, yeah, and Bug, like, came home, and she was, like, about not to go anywhere anyway, because I guess they had to sit. At one point, they all had to sit in the hallway for, like, an hour and a half, and she said, like, those kids were, like, crying, and, like, they were getting sick because they were in the hallway, and it was so hot, and they had to bring fans out there for them, and she said they missed lunch, and so when they did eat lunch, like, they had to go to the cafeteria and get the food and go eat it in their classroom, so, yeah, yesterday was just, like, a crazy, hectic day, and, uh, so yeah, hopefully um, Friday. If not, I'll I'll let me go to to the gym this weekend. So, um, but I so far I've only been able to make it to the gym once this week, which kind of sucks. But um, yeah, so um, I guess that's about so, it. Weigh in tomorrow. I gotta get some batteries for my scale, and um, I don't know. Like I said, just my heart has just has not been in weight loss lately I've just been like so I don't really want to say depressed I've just been miserable lately like it's just been like shitty lately so but the weather is starting to get warmer and I can start going outside more and you know I've got to lose this weight before August for reals so all right I'll see you guys later